This is problem 45 from chapter 11, Open Stacks, uh, second edition. We're asked to calculate uh, what is the freezing temperature of a solution of 115 grams of sucrose um, and 350.0 grams of water. So um, there are a couple things we need to do here. The freezing point um, depression formula looks like this. The change in the temperature F stands for, you know, freezing point or um, fusion, and that's equal to um, Kf times M. Kf is the uh, molal freezing point depression constant. Now for water, this can be found on Appendix 1. If you're taking my class, uh, that value is equal to 1.86 degrees Celsius per M. M. M stands for molality, and we can calculate the molality from grams, the molar mass of this substance, and the uh, kilograms of solvent here. So what we want to do is uh, look up the molar mass or calculate the molar mass for sucrose using your periodic table or a suitable internet resource. The molar mass of sucrose is equal to 342.3 grams per mole. So I think I have all the information here. I've got um, a formula, some constants, and so on. So let's just go ahead and jump in. So first we'll calculate moles. Okay, so we want to divide by the molar mass, and on my calculator I get 0 0.336. Um, okay, next I'm going to calculate um, the kilograms of solvent. Um, the, the obvious formula, maybe I should have written it here, Molality is moles per kilogram. So um, we've got the moles of the solute. Now I need the kilograms of the solvent. So 350 grams of water is 0 0.3500 kilograms. Now I can calculate the molality. of sucrose. And punch this in on our calculator here. 0 0.96 molo, molal, okay, or molality. Now what I want to do is um, plug that into um, this formula here. So we got the molality and I want to use this formula here. So step four here, I'll move to the side a bit. So we want to use Kf for water, so that's 1.86 degrees Celsius per molality, okay? And that's times 0 0.96 molal, okay? Molalities cancel, so on our calculator, 1.96 times 0.96 is equal to 1.79. Um, and the units here are degrees Celsius. Now, uh, that's not the freezing point of the solution. It's going to be depressed. Normally, water freezes at zero. So what we want to do is use this formula here. I'll change my font color. So a T temperature of the freezing point is going to be equal to the freezing point of the pure substance or pure solvent. Uh, subtract the change that you've calculated. So for water, the freezing point of pure water is zero degrees Celsius, right, by definition. And we subtract this value here. 
kind of running out of room, but the freezing point of this solution is going to be negative 1.79 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.